Are you ready to dig into the Stripe Embedded Checkout user interface? Well, guys, it's not going to be that big of a project to do. Mostly, we need to understand what is already done for us by Stripe. This involves a single line of HTML that lets Stripe handle most of your checkout work. It renders a checkout form that handles all the payment authorization steps. You will integrate the form into a single item order web page. Then you practice processing orders to get the same experience as your customers will get. To do this, you learn how to test the checkout process on your website using testing data. This includes taking a ride to Stripe to investigate the testing data available to use for credit cards and other payment situations. We also learn about the Stripe tokens. Stripe tokens free you from handling the secure banking data of your customers. Both you and customers will be very happy about that. As you test, you will track the Stripe token that is created along with other checkout data. We will learn how to use the token in a future section of the course to get automatic payments. We are also going to work with the Stripe Remember Me feature. This allows customers to store their payment data for use when visiting your website. We'll go through the entire process just as your customer might experience. You will have a bit of fun role playing as one of your Remember Me customers. This includes tracking the Remember Me text messages on your own phone sent during the process. Yes, it does look like a lot, but it is really one simple screen with the various verification processing messages. When you are done, you will have experienced an important benefit to you and your customers. And that benefit is Stripe pre-filling payment information on your website for future orders. This makes it quick and more certain that customers complete the next order. We also go behind the scenes as the Stripe checkout form communicates with the Stripe API on its servers. Stripe has a number of network requests that you can learn about. They have interesting response data that we will explore using the web browser tools. We will also investigate what Stripe downloads to your page, for example, HTML elements and form assets such as credit card images. Finally, we go on an outing to locate transaction data in the Stripe dashboard logs. Stripe logs a transaction when your customer completes a checkout form on your website. Well, that's it. You can get ready to go. See you then for the first session.